Hi, my name is Simon Donato, and I'm going to give you two shoe reviews for Impact Magazine today. So I got to test two shoes in the zero drop category, and those shoes are the B2R, or Born to Run uh, Performance Road Shoe, and the Mizuno Wave Evo Cursorius. So first of all, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, Born to Run shoe. So as you can see, um, it's a pretty bright, uh, brightly colored shoe. It's got some unique features to it, which I'll get into as well. But um, essentially, I tested an 11 and a half men's shoe. Um, the weight, there's two weights that you need to consider for this shoe. The first weight is with an insole in. It's not in right now. Um, and that weight's 245 grams. The weight with it out is 225 grams. So the, uh, the running I did with this was both, with the insole in and out. I ended up preferring it with the insole out. They've got a sewn liner that actually um, is quite comfortable to run with. So essentially you're looking at a hundred dollar shoe. Um, what B2R will also do is um, the, the whole program and concept behind minimalist running here, uh, they've tied it into a, a training program, a running strengthening program. So I mean this shoe comes from um, Chris McDougall's coach in Born to Run. So basically the, the minimalist concepts that he talks about in the book are applied in this shoe. So as you can see first off it's a very flexible shoe. Not that this will ever happen to us when we're running, otherwise that would be a very bad day on the trails. Um, you know, but you can see that uh, in terms of the sole, it is a zero drop shoe. You know, without the insole, it's about a centimeter stack height. Um, highly flexible, but I found it pretty durable on the road. I didn't feel any, uh, any gravel. I ran in the snow, so one of the issues I did encounter was with the split, was with the split toe, end up getting a little bit of snow stuck between. So that was a little bit uh, of an issue to deal with. And I'll talk a little bit more about the split sole as well. But overall, it's a light, responsive shoe. I like how flex flexible it is. There's no added um, cushioning or uh, support, which is very nice for a neutral shoe. I mean, you can see the base here. Um, it's not really a trail shoe. You can do some, uh, some pretty mellow stuff in this, but I certainly wouldn't take it on the mountain trails around Canmore. I use this on the road, I use this on the treadmill, and I use this on the, um, the river pathways where it was fine. Um, the upper is quite nice. It's a mesh upper, comfortable to wear barefoot. And uh, the lacing system, you've got flat laces. The, um, the tongue is sewn in midway down. So overall, very comfortable shoe to wear. Felt quite secure on my foot but there is no added support or structure anywhere, which I like. Um, the downside is you don't have any protection, so if you do try and take it off trail, you lose that angle. Now, obviously with this shoe, you've got the, uh, the split toe. The reason they do this is to enhance strength, balance, and power, at least this is what they claim on the website. To be honest, I didn't really notice any difference running in this shoe uh, versus running in a normal shoe with, uh, with no split. Um, takes a little while to get used to the split with the fabric between your toes. Um, in addition, Born to Run also sells the shoe with uh, two socks. These socks are the ones I was wearing. This is what you'll get when you buy the shoe. So basically, you've got to wear a special, a special sock. You can wear the normal five finger socks or you can go barefoot, but you can't wear your regular run of the mill sock with this. So, you know, that could be, uh, that could be detrimental, I guess. But overall, um, I really enjoyed wearing this shoe. It was comfortable, it was stable, it was nice and snug on my foot. Um, the the well-vented mesh upper uh, lets a lot of air flow through, so even though I tested these during the winter, uh, my feet weren't getting cold, but uh, in the summer I, I see it as something that will allow my foot to breathe. So I'm looking forward to continuing to run in these. Um, you know, they are coming out with a trail version though in the fall of 2013, so that's something to look forward to. And the um, the other shoe that I tested was Mizuno's first foray into the zero drop minimalist market and this is the Wave Evo Cursoris. So this shoe comes in at about 120 bucks to buy. Um, no one's going to miss you on the road with uh, something this bright and it comes in at about 220 grams. So overall weight between the shoes uh, you're, you're looking at 7 to about 8.5 ounces if you're looking at it in terms of ounces. Um, the sole on this shoe is quite unique as well. So what they've done, it seems to keep the weight down, they've, they've added some denser um, rubber uh, treads or outsole and they've left part of it as one molded foam block. So my concern here would be that 
you know, you're going to get excessive um, wear on the foam, whereas the high impact zones, which is what they're predicting for a four foot mid foot runner here, uh, it's not going to wear down as fast. So they've padded it up where they expect the impact zones to be. So it's an interesting concept. Running in this, you can see that it's, it's a little more stiff than, um, than the Born to Run shoe. Still quite flexible. Um, it, it's, a, it's a neutral shoe, so there's no additional support. But uh, it is stiffer. Um, it's got a removable insole, but you can't really run in this barefoot. It's not built to run in barefoot. Um, the mesh, though, highly vented, much more vented than the Born to Run. So you're going to get great airflow out of this. Um, overall, it's a comfortable shoe to wear. Uh, it's very light. I felt, uh, I felt pretty quick in these. And overall, I enjoyed it. A couple of downsides with this one in terms of comfort. What they've done to support it is they've got this um, kind of harder plastic material on the toe and coming in off the, um, off the tongue. And I found that at certain points in my run, usually when I, when I was running a little slower, warm-ups, cool-downs, and walking, I would feel this actually cutting into my foot. Well, cutting is a harsh term, but I would feel it digging into my foot with each step, and I could feel my toe rubbing against the front here. So for me, the comfort wasn't as great, and I also found that the, um, the forefoot's quite wide, which is nice for some runners, but I guess my foot's probably a little bit on the narrower side, and it felt a little too sloppy. It felt like I didn't have the lateral stability that I'm, I'm typically used to. So overall, um, if, I, if I were to pick between the shoes to wear on the road, I'd probably go with uh, the B2R over the Mizuno. Uh, on a really hot day, I'd probably choose this guy because it is so well vented. But really, nothing, nothing bad to say about the ride for either of them. Nice, nice cushioning soles for both, uh, comfortable run, nice and light, and they both generally feel good on the foot. So that's my review for the Born to Run Road Performance and for the, uh, the Mizuno uh, Wave Evo Cursorius. Thanks for listening.